Mistakes aren't something we can avoid forever. We all make them to varying degrees. Some are completely unforgivable, while others can absolutely be granted grace. But what are these mistakes and what makes them more easily pardoned? That's what we're talking about today. Here are 10 forgivable human errors, only if you make them once. Here we go. Number 1. Prioritizing your health last It's really easy to make this mistake when we're young and invincible. Note the sarcasm, Alex, or none of us are invincible, ever. But if this mistake is made once in your youth, it can definitely be forgiven. For a lot of us, these are the years where, for the first time ever, we're fully responsible for our own personal well-being, and some are better equipped to handle it than others. Putting your work or social life above your health is something you can get away with for a little while, but repeat this mistake consistently and you'll find yourself in some trouble. Before you know it, you'll have a list of preventable issues to deal with and probably some medical bills you fully resent. Like all of these mistakes we'll be looking at today, if you make it, you gotta learn from it ASAP. Number 2. Giving up without trying hard enough this one gets a pass the first time around. Maybe you are young and a little unsure of how to proceed or feeling intimidated. But if something is worth it to you, if you want something, try for it and try hard. Otherwise, you'll be stuck with regret, which, trust us, is way worse. Making the mistake of giving up too easily or too soon gives you a glimpse into what it feels like to fail. And we mean truly fail because there was no real effort made to succeed. It's forgivable the first time, but repeating this mistake becomes a vicious cycle of you never reaching your potential and beating yourself up about it. So take the wisdom from this lesson learned the first time and only give up when you've exhausted all other options. Number 3. Neglecting your inner circle Never forget the people that actually matter, Aluxer. It's really easy to work your way into a new position, meet and mingle with new and exciting friends, and then neglect the ones that helped you get there. Putting more energy into these new connections than you do into your well-established friendships will leave your lifers feeling rejected and betrayed. It's understandable to get wrapped up and spend a bunch of time with fresh faces when you meet someone new, but by no means can this slide forever. Your OG friends were there for you through every bump, twist, and turn along your journey. Casting them to the side just because you found something shiny and new will set you up for a harsh reality when these new friends do the same to you. In some cases, friends grow apart naturally. This is true, but making a habit out of dumping your friends to constantly trade up will leave you pretty lonely in the end. Friends can forgive going through a one-time phase, but consistent neglect? Not so much. And on a similar note, number 4. Not spending enough time with family when our lives feel like they're moving at warp speed, it can be pretty easy to neglect spending time with family. They're always there, right? It's okay to call them back later, no big deal. But ask anyone who's learned this lesson the hard way and they'll tell you themselves. There isn't always going to be a later with family members. Someday, not decided by you, will be their last. Making this mistake once is understandable. Repeating this mistake will rob you of precious time and memories with your loved ones, and you might struggle to forgive yourself of that in the future. Learn the lesson before it's too late, and you'll live a much happier life. Number 5. Neglecting Education now here at Alux, we don't look down on people for dropping out of school. Lots of incredibly successful people have left their studies early. But by no means are we in favor of neglecting education. That goes against one of our biggest core beliefs, that education can secure your best life. Making this mistake once is forgivable. Perhaps you didn't have someone to inspire you to continue your education, or you just don't know what you're passionate about pursuing. But instead of just stopping, it's vital to figure out your why and get to work learning the things you need to know to make your goals a reality. Take every opportunity you can to learn. Continually making the mistake of neglecting your education will leave you further and further behind, putting yourself in an even less advantageous position than you're in right now. At Alux, we value learning so much we began creating our own premium education experiences on a few topics near and dear to us. We have a course on meditation, on effective goal setting, on Bitcoin and blockchain, and most recently a course dedicated to teaching yourself how to learn anything you wish. This Black Friday, our courses will be going on sale. Head to alux.com slash courses to check them out and get on the waiting list to secure your discount. Number 6. Staying in a one-sided relationship 
lots of us have been there before. The relationship starts out strong, then slowly or not so slowly, things start to fracture. The other person seems pretty indifferent, but you know that if you just tried a little harder, did a little more for them, or somehow tried to make yourself more appealing, that things would be okay. Trying to save a doomed relationship is not the most grievous error you could possibly make, but repeating it over and over will do a number on your mental health. Going through the entire ordeal once should be enough to learn some valuable lessons on how unhealthy relationships play out, saving you from going through the turmoil repeatedly. Continuing the cycle is basically unforgivably punishing yourself, and life is just too short for that shit. Number 7. Passively Watching Instead of Helping Professor, author, activist, and Holocaust survivor Eli Wiesel famously said, What hurts the victim most is not the cruelty of the oppressor, but the silence of the bystander. Having lived through one of the most horrific human rights tragedies in history, I'd say he knew a lot about this one. Here's the thing. It can be pretty scary or intimidating to get involved with some things, be it big stuff like global human rights abuses or smaller stuff like seeing someone get bullied on the subway. But always making the mistake to be a silent bystander perpetuates so much negativity and hate in this world. You might not be actively adding to it yourself, but you're allowing it to build around you on your watch. It carries a major impact in a bad way. Acting as a silent bystander and reflecting on how the whole situation made you feel should be enough to let yourself only do it once, to give you the courage to at least say something the next time you're in one of those situations. These kinds of events don't always require you to dig out some kind of metaphorical battle axe. Many times, just a few firm words to halt an action is all it takes. Lots of people act the way they do because no one holds them accountable. Start making accountability a priority and just watch how things start to shift. Number 8. Not leaving that job sooner Getting comfortable at a place where you can no longer thrive is an easy trap to fall into, an easy mistake to make. Maybe this is your first real job, the kind with benefits and paid vacation time. But if the work environment is toxic or you've leveled up beyond what they can offer you, the mistake to stay is a big one with a ripple effect on your life circumstances. For most of us, making this mistake once is enough to never make it again. That's time you could have spent bettering yourself in so many ways instead of just stagnating. But failing to learn the lesson here and sticking with people in situations that do not serve you will stunt your self-growth and leave you feeling resentful. And ain't nobody got time for that. Number 9. Ignoring Red Flags and Marrying the Wrong Person this is a delicate one, isn't it? If a partner has proven to you time and time again they're not trustworthy, they lack compassion, they talk down to you or play controlling, manipulative games, but I mean, that's not always an easy thing to do or even accept in some cases. Pretty often, this lesson is learned the painful and hard way, but once should be more than enough to get it. A lot of the time, ignoring red flags in a relationship is all about self-esteem issues, like insecurity or a fear of rejection, which are very real trauma responses for some people. However, who you marry is a major decision, one with lasting impacts on your life, health, and finances. Ignoring all the warning signs, leaning into your insecurities, and marrying them anyway just to not be alone is a mistake you can give yourself grace with once. But more than once, it's no longer a mistake, that's a choice. Number 10. Betraying Someone You Love the thing about betrayal is, it exists on a spectrum. Your spouse might say that binging a show you watch together by yourself is betrayal, and I guess it is if you said that you wouldn't, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about bigger betrayals, like a betrayal of trust. Sometimes they happen accidentally, like spilling a secret you'd said you'd keep, or in a more premeditated fashion, like cheating on your SO. It's up to the individuals in any given situation to decide what's forgivable in this case, but big betrayals like this do happen and sometimes they can be forgiven if, and this is a big if, they only happen once. In the case of something like infidelity, examining the whys and hows of a situation can reveal quite a lot and make forgiveness easier to achieve for both yourself and for the betrayed. But rep nope, sorry not sorry, no forgiveness for you, you just don't deserve it at that point. Alright Alexer, what's your take on this? What human errors come to your mind that can be forgiven? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments, so join the conversation below. And for sticking around until the end, as always, you get a bonus. One more forgivable mistake you should only make once. Lying to yourself 
There's something to be said for a little white lies. Sometimes they're acceptable to just get through a situation without hurting someone's feelings. But lying to yourself? That will never smooth anything over and it should only take making the mistake once to figure it out. Sometimes the truth is the least appealing of our options, but you know what? We don't get to pick and choose when it comes to the truth and the only way to really know yourself, what you want, what you value and what you're capable of is to be honest with yourself about everything. Otherwise, you'll never be able to effectively grow or evolve into the person you're meant to become and what a waste that would be. Thanks for hanging out with us today, Aluxer. We love it when you do. If you enjoyed today's video, please give us a like, hit the bell icon to never miss a new upload, and don't forget to subscribe.